Hi guys, this is Holes Into the Wisdom. So we'll be doing this read for Gemini. Um, this is the love read. So let's go ahead and shuffle these cards. We're going to start with singles first. What information or messages do we have for Gemini in regards to love? Gemini singles for the month of November 2017. Gemini singles. And I'm interested in this, guys, because this is my rising sign. So, you know, let's see what's going on, Gemini. Gemini singles. November 2017. What messages do we have for Gemini singles? November Classification we have for Gemini singles. What classification do we have for Gemini singles? Hmm. Okay. So as we look at this read now, the underlying energy is the sun card. Okay, and we have happy times, positive outcomes, even having confidence in yourself. And I see a lot of us that are having um, confidence issues. And I say us because I am a Gemini rising. So a lot of us are having confidence issue, issues in regards to love. Maybe, maybe um, lacking the confidence and the willpower to actually do what we know is right. And following a path that's set before us. Before us, Some of us need to compromise and work together with people in order to get... Um, further within love or within a love situation now let's break this down into the read into the positions they got on the little layouts okay got this um layout i think i got this from pinterest a long time ago i don't remember i got so many layouts guys okay so for this one a glimpse into the future we got ego so this could be you feeling trapped being overly focused on material things or having negative and fear-based thoughts this could be you afraid to take action especially with this knight of pentacles here this is someone who's afraid to take action or someone who needs to handle their responsibilities and buckle down to get things done um for how to prepare yourself for what's to come do what you know is right make sure you're weighing all options and making fair and just decisions make sure you're standing up for your beliefs especially with this strength card in reverse and this um nine of wands this could be lacking willpower and the need for you to not give up and protect that which you have created okay positive omens to look for we got the star card so this represents being on the right track being on the right path making happy um positive optimistic long-term plans um and also visualizing what you want as far as like a positive, positive omen i think this will be visualizing what you want actually understanding that you have choices in this situation and actually choosing what you want so that it can come to you this is actually about manifesting your desires so this is knowing exactly what you want in regards to love choosing that that you want and actually working toward it okay so negative omens to look for. This is third-party situations. Do not be a team player. This also be need, you needing to cooperate with something about with someone about something. But this is pretending that it's not a problem and dealing with the third-party situation. So if you're dealing with the third-party situation, definitely get out of it. This is not the situation for you. Okay, so let's work on our couples. Let's just let me hit a good shuffle on these cards right quick. What messages do we have for Gemini couples in regards to love? Okay. Messages for Gemini couples in regards to love. Excuse me, guys. 
All right, so let's pull some clarification. Any clarification for Gemini couples? November 2017. For you now the underlying energy is the knight of wands and the nine of cups so this represents um events that needs your immediate attention understanding that time is of the essence and this could be dealing with either someone that you consider a love of life or this can be deal with um some type of satisfaction or concerns fading away in the situation okay so in your position right now you got the Knight of Swords. So this is you having fast moving energy. You needing to take time to carefully review your options and even come up with creative solutions. This could be you moving tirelessly to come up with something or create something because you got the Ace of Wands on top of this. So maybe there's a goal that you're focusing on right now and you're kind of working very, like, very tirelessly and, you know, being very decisive in your actions so that you can complete this goal. For your partner, they got the lover's card. So this can represent um, the need to carefully weigh a decision. Maybe you both are trying to weigh a decision in regards to this relationship, because um, this is a relationship reading. Um, maybe you're wanting to move forward or take the next step up and start a new foundation. Or first, I believe that um, you guys are kind of wanting to start something, but you may be trying to evaluate whether or not It'll be, um, you guys will either be able to financially afford it or actually have the time to afford it. Because um, I do see a lot of stress and a lot of work associated with this. We got the Four of Pentacles clarifying that was the Queen of Cups. So maybe your partner's being very guarded um, within this decision. Maybe they feel like you're being kind of hard on them or maybe they're wanting to nurture your ideas and nurture your vision and help you grow with that. We got the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. This can be also your partner maybe doing a little bit more than what they should in this situation and maybe needing to step back and restrain themselves a little bit. Okay, in the past, what kept you together is the Ace of Pentacles. So this represents an inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure. This could also represent a new home. And with the High Priestess here, with the High Priestess here, this could represent um, either finding some type of stability within that home, creating something new. And I do see something creating new because I got the Empress as well as the High Priestess. So that represents birth or giving birth to new conditions. This could also be a pregnancy. For some of you guys, this could be you finding out that your partner is pregnant or you finding out that you're pregnant. Um, this could also be... The High Priestess usually talks about following the intuition, but in this situation, I don't think this is following the intuition. I think this is like building a new home, finding some stability within a new home, um, balancing your home and your love life. I believe this is what this is about because it also talks about balance. So I think this is about balancing your love and your home life, and I think your partner is needing to balance love and home life because they have the lover's card, which represent balance as well. So then we got right now what keeps you together right now you might have some financial concerns um but you know how to create a new way you know how to create a new um foundation for you guys so this is i believe this is what you're working on right now there is some financial issues some fear surrounding money or maybe just challenges within the household but you're trying to create a new way you're trying to make the concerns fade away for you and your entire family right now and that's why you're overworking so much that's why you've got so much on your shoulders because you're trying to create a new foundation for your family then with the king of cups someone who is compassionate someone who is trustworthy someone who is doing some type of charity work or trying to give to others so this is you trying to give to this situation or give to your family kudos gemini i do see you working hard to try to set this foundation for your family just keep moving forward with this okay so let's pull some oracle cards so we can see what messages we have for gemini for november so we're going to pull some goddess guidance oracle cards and see what messages we have for gemini what messages do we have for gemini for november 2017 in regards to love what messages do we have okay so we got past life it says this situation involves your past life memories you could be dealing with well, like i said the love of your life with that nine of, of cups that popped out okay so let's see <laughs> so these fell out we got bright future it says stop worrying as everything is going is going to be fine we got cycles and rhythms it says honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions and you also got boundaries it says love yourself enough to say 
no to others demands on your time and energy your underlying energy is guiding children so it says you are good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now this could also be some fertility so for some of you guys this is definitely um, a month of you having some babies so this is all I got for you um, until next time Gemini y'all have a good night